Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and we're doing our 31st video on stratified sampling for our GCSE revision list. Just to remind you, um, this series of videos are for revision. I'll briefly introduce the topic. You take the notes down, then I'll say pause the video, then you try the exam questions. Having tried it, you play the video and mark all the exam questions. You can get a printout on the website. Okay, so let's start straight away with this one about sampling. Now, there are two types of sampling you need to know about. One is called random sampling and the other is called stratified sampling. Now, just before we launch into these, what is sampling? Well, sampling is when you want to find out information from a population. So you have a massive population here. And you want to find out something, so you take a small sample of those people. For example, uh, you want to find out whether people like chocolate. So in, instead of asking everyone in the whole country, what you do is you ask a thousand people, let's say, and try and get your information from that. Now, random sampling, what is random sampling? Well, you have to remember this definition. It's when the, um, uh, actually, it would be better to write, a random sample is when uh, every person or item, whatever you're dealing with, in the population, in the population, has an equal chance of being selected. Okay, and the way you do a random sample, I'll show you the method here. They sometimes have asked for the method. The way you do it is assign every body a number and use a random number generator to decide who is selected. Okay, now a stratified sample, what is a stratified sample? It's when is when you have various groups in your population, okay? So you use stratified sampling when you have groups in your population. And you use it when, and, and this is what it is, it's when the proportion of each group in your sample is the same as the proportion in the whole population. Okay, and I'll give you an example of that. Say we had our whole population here. This was our whole population. And say in the whole population, so say kids in a school, say it just so happened that there were uh, 900 girls in the school and there were uh, 100 boys. And you wanted to find out whether the kids in your school like chocolate or something like that. So you asked, um, let's say, um, say you asked, for example, um, let's say 50 instead. Say your whole population then was 1,000 kids, but you only wanted to ask, um, let's say, 50 pupils. So what you would realise is you would realise that nine-tenths of your population are girls, so you'd have to reflect that in here, okay, so that nine-tenths uh, would be girls, so it would be 45 girls. And there would be five boys, okay? So what, what you've done is you said that nine-tenths are girls and you said that one-tenth are boys, so here you're doing the same thing. Nine-tenths of 50 is going to be equal to 45 and 1 tenth of 50 is going to be equal to 5. So that's what stratified sampling is. I'm going to show you a better way of doing it in a second.
So the definitions, they've always asked these type of questions. You just learn this here and you write it or you learn this here and you write it there. So let's just do one more time for luck. A random sample is when every person in population has the same chance or equal chance of being selected. And the stratified sample again is when the proportion of each group in the sample is the same as the proportion in the population. In the whole population. Okay, two examples I'm going to show you. So copy these notes down. Right, here's a question. We are told that the entire school has a population of 650 students and they each study Greek, Spanish, German or French. Greek, Spanish, German or French in these numbers. Obviously these numbers must add up to 650 because the total of the school is 650. We're asked and we're told that we want a stratified sample of 70 of these students. So we want the students, the 70 we chose, to have the same proportion as they do in their total population. Work out the number that should be in our sample. OK, we're going to do this very much like we did similar shapes in video 30. So I'm always going to draw a little picture. This is my sample. It's small. This is my population. It's big. I'm going to write... Um, here that this is my um, sample and this here is my population. My total population is the big number is 650 and I know it's broken down into the Greeks which are 145, Spanish which is 121, German which is 198 and French which is 186. I need to break down my sample in the similar proportion as the total population is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to firstly work out what's called my sampling scale factor. Just like length scale factor, I'm going to call it sampling scale factor. Just like length scale factor um, that I did in video 30. So that's going to be the big number, 650, divided by my sample, which is 70. So divided by 70. OK, so calculator out, we're going to do 650 divided by 70, 650 divided by 70, and it's 65 over 7. It's a nasty decimal, we leave it at 65 over 7. So we leave this at 65 over 7. What does that mean? Well, it means if we're going from the sample to the population, we'd multiply by this number, 65 over 7. But if we're coming from the big population to the sample, we divide by the 65 over 7. OK, and in this case, we've got all the information in the population. We want it in the sample. We're dividing by 65 over 7. So for the Greeks, what we're going to do is 145 divided by 65 over 7. For the Spanish, we're going to do 121 divided by 65 over 7. For the German, we're going to do 198 divided by 65 over 7. And for the French, we're going to do 186 divided by 65 over 7. OK, let's have a go at that. 145 divided by 65 over 7. We get ourselves the answer, 15.6. Uh, so 15.6. I'm not going to uh, round to whole numbers just yet. 121 divided by 65 over 7. We get ourselves... 13.0, so 13.0. The next one, we get 198 divided by 65 over 7. We get the answer 21.3, so 21.3. And lastly, we're going to get 186 divided by 65 over 7. We get ourselves the answer 20.0. Now, we're going to round. That one I'm going to round up to 16. That one I'm going to round off to 13. That one I'm going to round to off to 21 and that one I'm going to round to 20. Just before you write your answers in, 
check they add up to the magic sample number of uh, 70 in this case. Indeed they do, we know we've done it right. So 16 Greek, 13 Spanish, 21 German and 20 French, we're done. Now I just want to show you one more example where we're going from the sample to the population. Okay, so one like that and here it is. This one tells us the group uh, table shows us the weights of 20 students chosen at random. So here is our sample, the 20 students, and there are 300 students in total in year 11. Let's draw a little picture. Here's my sample. Here's my population. Sample. In the sample, I've got 20 students. In my population, I've got 300 students. Let's work out the sampling fraction, so the sampling scale factor. So the sampling scale factor is going to be 300 divided by 20. On our calculator, 300 divided by 20 is 15, so it's 15. So if we're, mul if we're going from the small to the big, we're going to multiply by 15, whereas if we're going from the population to the small, we're going to divide by 15. Now here, we've got everything that was in our sample. So we want to work out, it says an estimate for the number of students in year 11 whose weight is between 50 and 60. So 50 and 60 is this one here. So all we're going to do is we're going to take that number 7 and we're going to multiply it by 15. We're going from the small to the big. So we're going to do uh, 7 multiplied by 15, 7 multiplied by 15, and that's 105. So we're going to say 105 students. Okay, that's it now. It's time for you to work through the exam questions. To be honest with you, they're mostly like example one. That's mostly how they come up, but I showed you example two just in case it came up in the real day, although it's never come up yet. Okay then, so pause the video for each question. In five seconds, I go through each one. You can print this worksheet out on the website. First exam question. Okay, Max wants to take a random sample of students from his year group. What is meant for, by a random sample? You have to learn this. It's when each member of his year group has the same chance of being selected. The same chance of being selected. Just got to learn that, I'm afraid, guys. Describe how he could do this. Well, he could assign a number to each student and use a random number generator to select his sample from that. Okay, right, next part of this question, it said the table shows the number of students in five years at the school. Um, we've got, a, we want to take a stratified sample of 100, um, work out how many year nine students. Firstly, we've got to work out the total, haven't we? We've got to know the total of the population. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 239, add 257, add 248, add 190, add 206 and we get ourselves a total of 1140 so a little picture off at the side here there's our sample there's our population we know that in our sample we've got a hundred but in our population we've got 1140 so our sampling fraction, so our sampling scale factor is 1140 divided by 100. So 1140 divided by 100, 1140 divided by 100 is equal to 11.4. So to go from small to big, you multiply by 11.4, but to go from big to small, you divide by 11.4. We want the number of year 9 students in the small one. We've got the year 9 in the big population, so we're going to do 239 divided by 11.4. So we're going to get 239 divided by 11.4, and we get ourselves 
so 20.9 let's say, which we're going to round up to 21 and we're done. Next question, pause the video, work through in five seconds. Okay, so uh, in this one we've got uh, the ages in years of 300 students. We want to take a sample of 50. We want to know how many 16-year-olds should be in the sample. So I'm going to draw a little picture. Sample, population. In our sample are 50. In our population are 300. Our sampling scale factor is going to equal 300 divided by 50. 300 divided by 50, and that's 6. So if we're going from the small to big, we're going to multiply by 6. If we're going from big to small, we're going to divide by 6. In this case, we're looking at 16-year-old uh, students, which is this group here. There's 68 of them. That's in the big one. So we're going to divide that by 6 to get how many in the sample. So 68 divided by 6, calculator out, 68 divided by 6 is equal to 11.3. So that's going to be 11.3 which I'm going to round down to 11 students. Next question, pause the video, work through in five seconds. Okay, so in Holborn School there are this many students in key stage three, four and five. We want to do a survey of 100 students. We want to work out how many should be in our sample of key stage three. Before we do that, let's work out our total in our population. Our total is going to be equal to 460, add 320, add 165, it's going to equal to 945. We're going to draw ourselves a little picture just to be sure what's going on. Sample population. In my sample, there's 100. In my population, there's 945. My sampling scale factor is 945, the big, divided by 100, which is going to be 9.45. If I'm going from small to big, I multiply by 9.45. If I'm going from big to small, I divide by 9.45. Well, I want to work out how many key stage 3 there should be. So I look at the key stage 3 number, 460, in the total population. And I'm going to divide it by 9.45 to work out how many should be in my sample. So 460 divided by 9.45 is equal to... 48.7, so 48.7, so I'm going to round that to 49 students. Okay, and the last question for you to try. Okay, it tells us there are 1,065 students. We want a sample of 120. How many year 8 female students? So year 8 female, this is the one we're going to use. So, let's draw a little picture here, sample, population. In the sample, I've got myself 120. In the population, I've got myself 1,065. My sampling scale factor is 1,065 divided by 120. So, 1,065 divided by 120 is equal to 8.875. So, 8.875. Going from small to big you multiply by 8.875. Going from anything big in the population to small, you divide by 8.875. We've got how many year 8 female students in the total population? 134. We want to work out how many in our sample, which is going to small, so we divide by 8.875. So what we do is 134 divided by 8.875, and you get yourself... 15.0 uh, so I'm going to round that to 15 so 15 students and we're done that's it on stratified sampling hope you found that really useful thanks for watching